Hey guys, welcome back to another day, or I should I say days, um, for wide, wine advent calendar. Um, I missed a couple days. It was my birthday weekend last weekend, and um, although I didn't go crazy on my birthday, the day after I hung out with some friends and I had a great time and went a little crazy. Um, no, I was not sick, but I thought I should give my um, liver a little break from the wine. <laughs> So this time I'm going to do it a little bit differently because I noticed that they have a red, rosé, and white, and that's the order it's supposed to go into. So I'm going to go a little bit backwards. I'm going to start actually with the, the 20th um, and go the other way because I feel like when I start with the red, it messes with my taste buds. So this first one is Undivided Chardonnay. Um, the vintage is 2021. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. So let's try this out. As you know, I'm not a big Shard fan, but a couple of these I have been liking. So let's see what this is all about. Now the undivided Pinot Noir, I think it was Pinot Noir. Yeah, did not like, and that was $14.99. This undivided uh, Chardonnay is also $14.99. So let's give it a whirl. It smells really good. We'll see. Wow. So I like the initial taste of it, the aftertaste, the finish, not liking it. So it tastes, it tastes like it's got like some, some tropical fruits in it. So maybe like a pineapple or, um, oh, I can't tell. Pineapple is going to be what's strongest in here, but it also has like a little bit like a hint of something citrusy. I don't know whether it'd be lemon or not. Um, and it smells a little floral, but I don't know. We'll just say citrusy and tropical <laughs> are going to be the, the flavors. Now, this to me is semi-sweet, but I know some out there might feel like this is semi-dry, but it's a lot sweeter than the other shards that I tasted and it, it's actually giving me a little bit of heartburn. So I'm not liking it as much as I thought I would. Um, on a scale of one to five, I'd probably give this a two and a half. It isn't horrible, but I'm rating it low just because I don't like the, um, the finish and the heartburn feeling. So this is gonna be a two and a half. Again, it's $14.99, you can get it from Total Wine. Um, as you can all of these um, but yeah two and a half two and a half for me I'm, I'm not not really feeling it moving on to number 19 day 19 Grand Sud Rosé and the vintage is also 2021 and it says Merlot on there so it must be using Merlot um, grapes if you can see that so let's try that out. Yeah. We'll see how this rosé stands up compared to the Compostelle rosé, which I actually really liked. Um, if you remember, that one was $9.99. And I actually had a bottle of it that launched out of my refrigerator and broke. So I don't know what to say about that. So this is Grand Sud Rosé and it is $10.99. Smells dry to me. Mmm, semi-dry. So not bad, not bad. I think it would taste a little bit better if it was chilled a little bit more. I'm tasting red fruits, so like a berry, like strawberry maybe a raspberry, a hint of a raspberry. But it's pretty fruity, not like crazy fruity where like it'd be bordering on the sweet side. So this one I'll probably rate a three and a half because it's not bad. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. Like I said, rosés and chardonnays and pinot grigios aren't really my jam. I really like the, the cabs. Um, their Merlots and the red blends. Um, so yeah, 
it's gonna be about three and a half for me because it's not horrible, but I wouldn't buy it again. And this is a French wine. Ooh. Fruity and elegant wine with a nice balance of freshness and sweetness. Okay, moving on to the red, my favorites. This was day number 18. And this is Kiwi Cuvée Malbec 2021. Um, this is soft and fruity on it, so we'll see about that. I haven't, I've been trying a few Malbecs out lately and I haven't really been liking it. I think it's because uh, my palate's getting more swayed towards cabs lately. So we'll see. We'll see how this... Right now I'm going to tell you I do not like the smell of it, so I hope it tastes better than it smells. No. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. This tastes like, and I know some of my friends are gonna make fun of me because I always describe how a, a, how something smells is how it tastes. Like this tastes how I imagine it would taste if you drank formaldehyde. That's that's <laughs> the best I can do. It it just does not taste good. I mean, I agree it does taste soft, but like the fruity part, I'm not getting the fruity part. So maybe it's because of the other flavors that I have mixed in there. Or maybe I should have rinsed this out a little bit, but this is not my favorite. Um, but again, I'll probably rate this three and a half. I wouldn't buy it again, but with this one, as always, because I love my reds, if someone offered it to me, I would definitely drink it. Um, it's gonna be, this one kind of tastes semi-sweet. And this, this is another one that you could probably chill it a little bit and it wouldn't be bad. I know, I know, bad, not supposed to be chilling red wine, but some of them taste good chilled. Um, but this was the Kiwi Cuvée Malbec and it is $13.99. So if you wanna try it out, go get it. Some of these are really good and um, some of them I've actually bought the full size bottle of because I liked it that much. But as always, until next time, I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.